O oh man, travel from yourself within yourself. By taking such a journey, the earth becomes pure gold. The drop left its own land <coughs> and came back. It found the shell and became a fur. Even if you don't have any feet, choose to travel within yourself. Like a mine of ruby, rubies. Be open to the rays of the sun. So many drops fall down when it rains. Most of them are going to find the shell and going to become a pearl. You just go to nourish this soul. <coughs> Same way there are so many souls in this world that rain down or drop down from high above. But very few ones have the good luck of finding the shell of the Sadhguru, Sadhguru shelter, and consequently do not become pearls. So coming into the refuge of the master is like finding your own shell in order to become a pearl. <coughs> but the drop does not become a pearl in a day, it takes time. It takes practice, it takes perseverance, insistence. Keep going. By and by, this transformation happens. So, if you keep doing our spiritual practice, if you keep ourselves in the safe shelter of Sadhguru's teachings, then by and by we are transformed from the humans into the divine. So it's very great, it's very, very important to sit together in meditation and find our own peace, expose ourselves to the rays of the inner sun so that we may turn into rubies.
So let this meditation also be an occasion for uh, attracting to yourselves the divine light. <coughs> Let it be an occasion for piercing as much as we are able to through the veil of the mind. I find that space of peace, of silence. So that the inner door may open and we may find ourselves a bit or more above this physical body. <coughs> so let's steadily look in the center. Let's continuously repeat the Simran so that our mind may not wander and stay focused and silent in the center. If you do your best, the Supreme Sadhguru will uh, come to bless us. If we pray to Him sincerely, then He will definitely come to bless us.